Hi guys, I am doing a really quick video today with Miss Oakley. She has got that outfit that Crystal and I both got up from Ally Express on. Um, it's a long sleeve shirt, black shirt, and it's got this cute little like cream llama on it. And the pants are a light gray that have the same llama on except the llama's white. And they've got some teepees, some arrows, some other shape, like Native American type shapes, which I'm not really sure what llamas and Native Americans necessarily have together. I guess Native Americans could have shaved the llamas to make stuff. Not really fully sure on that one. And a matching hat to the pants. Crystal and I both saw this on, or I think I saw it on Ally Express and... I showed it to her and she's like, oh my gosh, we need that. So both of her and I bought them. And there's this line of three Ys. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. When you buy stuff from AliExpress, you're not typically paying a whole lot of money. So it's kind of a crapshoot on um, what kind of quality you're going to get. Or there's even been some of them that have had some really strange translations from... Chinese to English because that's where they're typically coming from. The stuff's coming from China. So I wanted to talk about, kind of mentioned it yesterday, why the greatest showman on earth. So I know I am late to this party. My husband bought me the Blu-ray for Mother's Day. In fact, I think he bought it before Mother's Day, and it has just seriously sat on our kitchen counter since Mother's Day, or when he gave it to me. And I kept saying, yeah, we should watch it, yeah, we should watch it, yeah, we should watch it, and I just hadn't watched it yet. And recently on Phil and Alex, their two-year-old daughter Kinsley turned, or not two-year-old, she is now three years old, um, had a greatest showman birthday and they're singing the songs on the, some of their videos recently and from the movie and they talked about the movie off and on and her birthday party was the greatest showman and if you haven't checked out Phil and Alex's channel, um, they're a couple that has adopted two little girls that have had fertility struggles um, it seems to be more male factor fertility struggles. And so they have the two little girls that are adopted. And they are an ultra conservative Christian family. Philip is actually a pastor. And so with the movie, I knew that if they allowed their two, now three-year-old daughter to watch it, and listen to the music it couldn't be that bad of a movie so last week when my niece was over the kids wanted to have a movie night and they're kind of arguing about what they wanted to watch so I pulled it out and they all agreed since my kids hadn't seen it and my niece said that she had started watching it with her stepmom but hadn't got to finish it so I'm like okay let's Obviously, if you watched it with your stepmom, it's not going to be, or it's going to be fine for you to watch here. And anyways, I kind of was not really paying a whole lot of attention to it while the kids were watching it. Um, my daughter and my niece fell asleep, but it was really late. My son watched the whole movie to the end. And as soon as it was done, he looked at me and he's like, Mom, that was awesome. Can I watch it again tomorrow? And I'm like, well, we're kind of busy tomorrow. We'll have to see. So we were busy the next day. Although once we got home, my son watched it once that night. Then the following day morning, he watched it once. Then he watched it once before bed. Then on Saturday, I think he watched it three or four times. Like as soon as it was over, he wanted to watch it again. So... He loved the music. And my daughter at this point was getting into watching it as well. And so they both loved the music. So on Sunday, we went and bought the soundtrack for them. And my van has a hard drive in it that you can copy CDs to and leave on the hard drive. 
So what we did is we copied the CD onto the hard drive in the van and then the CD, the physical CD is in my husband's truck. So anytime the kids are in the vehicle, they want to listen to that CD or the music to it. Except for now on the van, they're not much listening to it because my van also has the DVD player in it and they want to watch it all the time at home. They want to watch it all the time. And as I've mentioned before, my son has autism. So he will get fixated on something and that's, excuse me, all he really wants to do is watch or talk about or read about that thing. So he's really been into P.T. Barnum and he's really been into uh, the circus and in fact, now for Halloween he wants to be P.T. Barnum and my daughter wants to be um, Charity P.T. Barnum's wife or the bearded lady. She hasn't decided which one she wants to be because the songs are very, very, very catchy. And the song that's primarily the bearded lady my daughter is in love with. So we'll have to see what she actually chooses when we get closer to Halloween. But knowing my son, once he commits to something like that, he's going to stick to it. So he is very adamant that he wants to be P.T. Barnum. So now I, needed to, I need to figure out a costume for him. And... That's why we came up, or that's where the theme of the week this week came from, because I was drawing a blank on Saturday night, and my, I'm like, oh, I need a theme, and my my son's like, the circuit, or, well, first he said, the greatest showman, which, the greatest showman is about the circus, so, that's why we went with the circus theme, but yeah, if you haven't checked out that movie, I highly suggest it, it's, it's a really good movie, the songs are very catching. In fact, I was talking to Crystal about it, and Crystal hadn't seen it. And then Crystal watched it, and she's like, oh my gosh, you're right. It's a really good movie, and the music is great. So, people I know that haven't seen it yet, that I've recommended it to, they've loved it. Um, I really haven't heard a negative review on this movie. Aside from some of the critics, which it seems like, in my opinion, when critics give a movie, like, a horrible review, that usually means it's a good movie, I, I, in what I've experienced in life. So, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, I mean, it's got really catchy songs, and it's got a really, really good message about it as well. It's got a, quite a few, like, I don't even know if I could pinpoint, or I know I could pinpoint, but it's got two different messages, or a few different, like, one is, like, accepting who you are, and, you know, like, don't let other people tell you how to feel and what to do, and the other one is, you know, don't get ahead of yourself in life, you know, you may think you're ahead, but... In the blink of an eye, you can lose it all. So, those are two the two biggest messages that I've taken away from that movie. And it has been a big thing in this house. So, like I said, I know I'm late to the to the gate about the movie, but it just I I've it's been put up there with a really good movie. Um, it's one of the few movies that everybody in my family likes. Like my husband will sit down and watch it with us as well. And typically, he, he does, he'll he watch movies with us, but he likes to watch, like, a lot of little kitty movies or, like, cartoons and stuff, which I'm not fully into that. And I'll go to him for my kids, but not necessarily a movie I'd pick. He likes those where I like more adult. Adult, not as in adult movies, but as in, like... Things like Grown Ups and, like, my favorite movie actually is Empire Records. So, things that you would go to a, f a normal movie theater to see as an adult. Versus seeing, like, cartoons. So, 
yeah it's a, it's a very good movie so if you haven't checked it out check it out and in the comments below what is your favorite movie i mean have you seen the greatest showman what are your thoughts on it did you like it did you hate it did your family become obsessed with it like mine has um yeah leave the leave uh, your answers in the comments below and i will see everyone tomorrow or actually i'll see everybody on monday today's friday bye